Welcome to HP Tuner Subaru Training Part 2. In this training tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to download and install our VCM editor and VCM scanner onto our laptops to begin our training course. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how to download and install our VCM editor and scanner software onto our laptops. This process is extremely straightforward. There's a couple of things I want to go cover here. We make sure that we have easy access to both the editor and the scanner. We're going to learn how to create shortcut links. We're also going to make sure a couple settings are configured properly in our VCM editor. So we're able to take a look at our files in a more advanced type of environment that we need in order to properly tune and calibrate our super applications. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure you go to hptuners.com. I'm on the front page of their website. I'm going to move in here into the download section. If I click on downloads, it's going to bring me to the page here where I find that I have a VCM suite that I can download or a VCM suite beta. Now with the Subaru applications, we need to be on the beta version of the software. We cannot be using the latest stable version here. It's, there's a lot of fixes and a lot of things that we need to update um, that are associated with the beta that aren't going to be found here in the stable version. So the stable versions are many versions behind the beta. The beta is constantly being pushed and updated from HP tuners probably multiple times a day. So if you're running into any problems during your calibration process, whether you're Subaru and a table needs to be defined, for example, if you contact uh, HP Tuner support, they're likely to tell you to re-download the latest beta again because after they make the change or the update, they're going to go push it through to a new download that you can download. So every few hours, they're probably changing um, and updating things. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be affecting your Subaru calibration and tuning. There may not be anything you're going to find every time you're downloading it. If you want to go download it every time you open the software to use it, you may not see that everything changes. Because HP Tuners is such a broad base of vehicles that it covers, they have many, many teams of engineers constantly updating the software behind the scenes. So if they make an update for a Volkswagen application, and they push it to a new version of the beta software, if you download it, the software, because it encompasses both Volkswagen, Subaru, for example, here, you're not going to find anything different with your Subaru applications. You only have to download the latest beta if HP Tuner support tells you that you need to download it. If you're trying to define a table that's not there, or if you just want to make sure you're on the very latest version in case they have added things over time, I usually check in here every few weeks and download the latest beta just to make sure I am using the latest one available. So what I'm going to do here is just click on this blue box. It's going to give me a prompt here that's saying that the beta um, is not necessarily something you want to use in a live production environment. Well, you have to use the beta in order to tune your Subaru. That's fine. We know it works properly, so I'm going to click OK here, and it's going to initiate the download. Now, depending on your internet speed, this could take a couple minutes. It's going to take about a minute for me to complete this download. I'm going to let it finish downloading, and then we're going to learn how we can install this onto our laptops. I am running Windows 10 here for reference sake. Uh, if you're running Windows 7 or another version of Windows. The process here might look a little bit different, but at this point, most everyone should be on Windows 10 because it's basically the standard. It's been out for a few years right now. So what you see on screen should match, or what you see on my screen should match what you see on your screen. Let's let it finish downloading here. And as soon as it's completed, again, we'll continue on and take a look at the rest of the process. Okay, so you can see here it's completed the download. I'm gonna go here to the open file option and it's preparing to install. Now we can see what the actual version is going to be here, 4.11.428.0. That's going to be the actual beta version that we're installing right now. So I'm going to go up here and go to Next, and I'm going to agree to the Terms of Service and click Next here. And then we can see where it's going to be installing the actual folder for the VCM suite. So we can see here it's C Drive, Program Files, x86, HP Tuners, VCM Suite Beta. It's important we note this, we're gonna to have to jump into this location to create shortcut links so we can actually access the editor and scanner software very easily. I'll talk about that here in just one second. Let's go in here and click next and let's go ahead and do the install. All right, we can see here it's gonna ask me if I wanna go and allow uh, changes to the device. This is essentially, do you wanna install the software? And in this case, we'll say yes here. Let's click yes and we can see it's gonna go through that process. This doesn't take very long. Let it go through and finish. Now we can see that process has been finished. So we're going to click finish right here. So now the software has been installed onto my laptop. Now the next step here is going to go in and create a shortcut link. If I go here and just minimize my web browser, nowhere on my desktop is going to have a shortcut link for the VCM editor or the VCM scanner software. We're going to go and create our own shortcut links and then I'm going to also going to pin them 
to my taskbar down here at the bottom so I can just easily click on the icon to open up the software whenever I'd like. That's just a time-saving feature. Let's go and do that right now. So I'm going to go in here to Thanks my for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.